More than two centuries ago, at the tender age of 19, Mary Shelley introduced the world to the Gothic masterpiece, Frankenstein. This timeless work of English literature weaves a haunting narrative around the ill-fated scientist, Victor Frankenstein, who breathes life into a nameless, monstrous creature. In January 2018, the bicentennial commemoration of Shelley's 1818 novel, Frankenstein, highlighted its enduring impact. Since its inception, Shelley's creation has been a cornerstone of Gothic and science fiction studies, inspiring countless adaptations for stage, screen, and literature in the ensuing centuries. During a summer marked in perpetual gloom in 1816, Mary Shelley found herself on a holiday with Percy Shelley, Lord Byron, and Dr. John Polidori at Villa Diodati near Lake Geneva in Switzerland. This peculiar season, dubbed the year without a summer, was a consequence of volcanic ash from Mount Tambora's eruption the previous year, which drastically cooled global temperatures and disrupted regular weather patterns, leading to ominous atmospheric conditions and agricultural hardships. It was amidst this eerie backdrop that Mary Shelley experienced a nightmare that would serve as a genesis for one of literature's most iconic chapters, the ghastly vision of a figure infused with unnatural life stitched together into a hideous sentient being inspired what would become a pivotal moment in her novel Frankenstein, wherein Victor Frankenstein confronts the grotesque creation he has brought to life. The convergence of creative minds during this Swiss sojourn prompted by Lord Byron's suggestion of a ghost story competition proved remarkably fertile. Not only did Shelley's nightmare give rise to Frankenstein, but it also sparked Dr. Polidori's tale, The Vampire, 1819, which would later influence Bram Stoker's seminal work, Dracula, 1897. Reflecting on the genesis of her novel in the introduction to the 1831 edition of Frankenstein, Shelley recalled how her nightmare was inspired by late-night discussions between Percy Shelley and Byron on the fashionable scientific topic of galvanism. This branch of science explored the use of electricity to induce muscle contractions and chemical reactions, fostering imaginative speculation about the boundary between life and death, a theme central to the tragic tale of Frankenstein's creature. In addition to the intellectual discussions that sparked her greatest contribution to Gothic literature, Mary Shelley's personal experiences undoubtedly left their mark on Frankenstein. The loss of her prematurely born child in 1815 surely influenced her portrayal of Victor's unnatural creation, born through the infusion of life into assembled dead parts. Shelley's own upbringing, shadowed by the absence of her mother, the renowned Mary Wollstonecraft, who died tragically shortly after Shelley's birth, added to her thematic concerns about motherhood and the fragility of life. Raised by her father, the esteemed philosopher William Godwin, Shelley struggled with self-confidence as an author, finding solace and support in the encouragement of her husband Percy. However, her adult life was marred by numerous tragedies, including the loss of most of her children and the untimely death of Percy in 1822, leaving her widowed in her mid-twenties. In Frankenstein, the method by which Victor bestows life upon his creation remains unspecified, though hints in the text suggest a reliance on the scientific principles of electricity and galvanism prevalent in his era. The creature's ghastly appearance with its watery eyes and pallid skin instills horror in Victor, who flees in terror. Shelley's novel serves as a battleground between the Enlightenment ideals of the 18th century and the Romanticism of the 19th century. She critiques the Enlightenment's worship of reason and mechanistic determinism challenging the notion of humanity as a predictable and controllable machine. Though references to Percy's poetry, she rebuffs her father's deterministic views, asserting the significance of free will and the inevitability of change. Moreover, Frankenstein suddenly alludes to the French Revolution, paralleling the creature's transformation to the revolution's descent from hopeful ideas of liberty, equality, and fraternity into the darkness of the reign of terror. In doing so, Shelley underscores the consequences of unchecked ambition and the complexities of human nature. As Frankenstein reflects, dreams that had been my food and pleasant rest for so long as space were now a hell to me, and the change was so rapid, the overthrow so complete. While the Enlightenment portrayed nature as benevolent, the Romantics viewed it with both awe and trepidation. 
Mary Shelley captures this romantic sensibility by setting her tale amidst the rugged landscapes of the Swiss Alps with cascading waterfalls and jagged, snow-covered peaks, providing a backdrop where Frankenstein and his creation inadvertently cross paths and clash. Shelley's narrative has served as the inspiration for numerous films, including the 1931 classic, which inaccurately depicts Frankenstein implanting a criminal's brain into his creation. The enduring image of the horrifying creature suggests an embodiment of evil. Yet, in the novel, the creature's descent into vengeance is provoked by the rejection he faces due to his terrifying appearance, which he cannot control. The story resonates with contemporary moral debates surrounding cloning and the ethical responsibilities of scientists. Frankenstein's act of creating life leads to the destruction of himself and his loved ones, not solely due to the brilliance of his scientific endeavor, but also due to the emotional responses of those around him to the creature's monstrous visage. The novel's subtitle, The Modern Prometheus, draws parallels to the ancient Greek mythological figure who defied the gods to bestow fire upon humanity or sculpted mankind from clay. In Shelley's rendition, Frankenstein's hubris in bestowing life leads to dire consequences as his creation wreaks havoc by extinguishing the lives of his loved ones, including his bride on their wedding night, thus challenging the domain of the divine. Frankenstein stands as a testament to Shelley's mastery, intertwining themes of ambition, morality, and the perilous quest for scientific advancement in a tale that continues to captivate audiences across generations. Mary Shelley's timeless tale is undergoing a thrilling revival with an exciting new interpretation. The official trailer for Frankenstein Legacy has been unveiled, promising a vintage, low-budget gothic horror experience Set in England in 1875, the film unfolds a century after the events of Shelley's original novel, focusing on William Browning as he delves into the mystery surrounding his father's vanished body. His investigation leads him to unearth the enduring secrets of the titular scientist, whose sinister journals hold the key to the chilling revelations. With its classic Victorian backdrop reminiscent of Hammer's renowned Frankenstein series, Frankenstein Legacy has the potential to captivate audiences craving the eerie atmosphere of gothic horror cinema. Fans are sure to anticipate the film's release, hoping it will deliver a satisfying homage to the genre's iconic tropes and themes. Don't inhale until the tip glows. What do you think? Comment down in the section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.